What's up, folks? It is time for a much needed update. I'm going to uh, talk about a couple of the different projects that I'm in. I think we just start with Drip. As you guys saw, we had an AMA yesterday. <clears throat> I had uh, another call right in the middle of that doing a live stream. So I wasn't able to join, but I joined after and just listened to it on 2x speed, got through everything. Uh, a lot more of the same. One thing that was different was uh, they mentioned Scratchy, and I haven't heard Forex mention Scratchy in a month or so. So it was nice to hear that that's still coming. They're talking about maybe doing the raise uh, next month sometime. So maybe Scratchy would be June. Um, I don't know particularly how optimistic we should be about the timeline for Scratchy because we still need Triple D. Um, <clears throat> and it sounds like it's relatively close, but it sounds like the UI is not quite all the way done. So I know he's got a team working on the UI. I know one of the members hasn't completed one of their tasks. So I don't know if he's gonna outsource that and then plug that in the missing piece or whatever to get it live. But I don't know if there's issues with drip drop draw that actually still need to get resolved or if it's pretty much done and it's all just about integrating it to the ui but my hope is that can get resolved and he can launch that now i think he did say that piggy plinko was going to come out before triple d and piggy plinko was still like a couple weeks out from this or that so i mean i think we're probably you know five or six weeks out from piggy plinko and then at least another couple a couple weeks out for triple d and somehow it seems like he's gonna mash scratchy in there so i don't know exactly how that's gonna work i just i can't guesstimate on the timeline i'm assuming we're not gonna see anything drip related either scratchy or triple d until at least june so at this point it is what it is uh, I'm not focusing at all on the timelines. I'm just trying to do what I can to support the drip price with the team over at the drip marketing DAO. That's been going really well, by the way. We've got our ads up and running. Uh, we're starting to see some traction on our organic posts, of people joining the Telegram. Like I've said in previous videos, this will take several weeks for us to get people through the funnel process to where they're comfortable with us. They're starting to understand DeFi, starting to understand that there's some investments in DeFi that sh they should take a look at. And then of course, we'll take them to the drip ecosystem System. primarily we'll take them through the garden and then by default they'll get some exposure to the faucet so that's cool price is actually looking pretty good I mean people people still believe so uh, we dropped all the way down I want to say like 37 cents maybe 38 now we're back up at 41 I'm just man I'm hoping we can keep at least this 40 cent price floor and start to work our way up I want to see 50 cents 60 cents we need to climb out of this hole but on the drip marketing side, it is going to take us just a little bit to get that done. The process isn't easy. We don't have a ton of money. We're all donating our time. But even with all those factors, I think we're doing a pretty solid job. We did split. We did do our first version. So here's what we did for the initial budget. I sent some money over to the wallet and I know the team did as well, just as donations. So we had it in our multi-sig wallet and we could use that for ad spend. That just kind of got us off the ground, paid for a week, week and a half, something like that of marketing. On Monday, we did our first claim from the garden where we actually split the LPs. We sent the uh, BUSD to the wallet to be used for ad spend. And we had a little over 299 drip that were left over from when we split the LP. Now we don't have the uh, the manpower, you know, the bandwidth right now, I should say, to start up a contest and, and get all those details sorted. So what we decided we'd do is just burn this first batch. So we burned like, I wanna say it was 299.1 drip tokens. And we can't provide the hashtag because we can't send it through dripfi.app. And the reason is dripfi.app just has like a, a Rabi or MetaMask connection. It doesn't have Wallet Connect. And our multi-sig wallet requires that we have to connect it via Wallet Connect. So what we had to do is just go the manual way, take the address, that's the burn address for the tax vault, and we just send them over there like a normal transaction. Uh, but for proof, let me bring this up. I posted this in my chat last night after it happened. Um, so I just said, hey, the Drip Marketing DAO did our first burn last night with the drip from the LPs that we split up. The BUSD half went over to ad spend and the other 299.11 drip went to the tax vault. We had to send it manually because DripFi um, doesn't work for us without the Wallet Connect. So here's the video. You guys can join the Telegram and watch it, but it shows us actually sending that over. And then here's the transaction hash. So just uh, just some, some proof that we're doing exactly what we said we're gonna do. Uh, just accountability, transparency. This is all stuff we're trying to push. I'm not sure exactly why in this industry people want to hide all this stuff that's going on behind the scenes, but we're going to try to show it just to be transparent about our wins and our failures. But that is where we're sitting so far. Uh, jumping over real quick while we're on this ecosystem, 
Pigs 58, dogs 11. So both these prices have kind of been suffering over the last couple of weeks. We saw that nice run up when that marketing was happening. And then as soon as the marketing stops or there's no uh, release date for Piggy Plinko, I think we kind of wasted those dollars because we're right back down. We saw a 20% lift in um, the pigs price and then that 20% was wiped off the board within two weeks. So as you guys know, the name of the game for me in uh, Animal Farm is just to keep accumulating. Let me get on the right wallet real quick. And right now I've made my way up to 227 and a half pigs and my dog pounds looking pretty healthy as well. Currently sitting at a little over 550 uh, split up and kind of the same ratio that I've been following through the auto compounding pool and linear pool. So nothing really new with the animal farm. Nothing's gonna change until we get Piggy Plinko. And then it just seems like um, it seems like the attention is going to be on all these games that are going to come out. Uh, Forex said on the AMA that he thought that the gaming market was sort of untapped in terms of uh, DeFi projects like this. So from an audience perspective, he thought that it would uh, it makes sense to shift over to games and market to that, which is cool. It will be interesting to watch them test that theory. So for me, Piggy Pilinko, any other games will be cool. I'm most concerned about Drip because that has the biggest upside, I think, for all of us. So hopefully we see that new UI drop, Triple D drop, and Scratchy drop sometime in the relatively near future because that would help a lot. But in the meantime, we're going to be pumping uh, as much as we can through the Drip Marketing DAO. One thing I wanted to touch on is the AMA that I actually had during Forex's AMA yesterday it was with Matt over at BurnSwap. If you guys don't mind, come over to my profile here. It's not in the videos. It'll be in the live, the live streams. Um, so it's this BurnSwap video right here. He's awesome. And I think they got a really cool platform going on there. There is a contest that they where they give away a thousand drip. I think it's only running for like the next three and a half days. So um, you can go to my Telegram. Maybe I'll see if I can um, link the Gleam.io contest down below. If you click on that link and do the standard things where you follow their Twitter page or retweet a post, add your wallet address, all that type of stuff. You want to make sure that you add a wallet address that is already in the faucet because when they airdrop that, it's going to go directly into your faucet. So just be aware of that. So please go check out this video, show it some support. The timing wasn't perfect because we did it right in the middle of a 4X AMA, but I'm going to have them on the channel again soon. Uh, their NFT sales go on sale in like four or five days. They are 100 BUSD and I plan to get in on that. So more content on that later, but please go support this video. The platform is super cool. It's basically a DEX where you can swap tokens and, and stake and all that type of stuff. But when you're swapping the tokens, it's actually burning that token therefore decreasing the supply and which should uh, be positive for price appreciation. So anyway, great dude, great decks, great project. The team seems awesome. Definitely go check this out because that one's going to end up being big, I think. Speaking of things that ended up being big, let's jump over to Wolf Capital. The Wolf team, our Wolf team, Team SDI, is now up to 169 members and the total stake is $121,608. So we are absolutely crushing right now. I just added another stake of 175. This is it after taxes. So I now have seven stakes making 37.53 a day, which I think is about 11.25. Uh, let's do the math. Okay, 37.53 times 30. Yeah, 1125.90 actually. So that's pretty solid. Well, that's not a ton of money. I think we could all use an extra 1100 bucks a month. So I'm gonna keep adding to this. Um, I've done it in a weird way because I want my stakes to be larger. So normally <clears throat> what they're asking people to do is you take your stake and then when it's time to take your profits, you redeposit 50% of that stake. When you've got small stakes, it's tough because you end up making just little bits of profit. Even some of these smaller ones uh, don't make a ton a week and these are you know $150 stakes originally. So what I did is as soon as I decided that I really liked the project and it seemed to be going really well, I mean, they're making a good amount of money trading. The total invested is um, more than 800,000, which is pretty amazing. They've got about 70K over here in TVL that just sits on the contract to pay people uh, their rewards. The rest of it, they're trading to earn profits. So, so far it looks really good. I joined their last AMA, super solid. A lot of people ask really good questions. I mean, nothing is for sure in this space, right? Not financial advice, but this one has been really solid for me. So I've been redepositing more. I don't know if you can see this. Let me just make myself smaller. I've been redepositing more as I go. Obviously this 200 and whatever it was, was a lot more than 50% of whatever I returned from my first stake, but I wanted another large one in there and then another large one, another large one. So even though I've added way more than 50% of what I'm pulling per week, I'm still at about 50% ROI so far. 
in 14 days, so in two weeks, this one's gonna expire. I could technically take that $900 if I wanted to, or I could claim that, keep 400, drop the other 500 back in. I mean, it's really up to me. For now, I have no reason to take this out. And I think over the next couple of weeks, uh, by the time we get down to this, with all the additional stakes I have and the money I'm making, I should basically be at break even. And that's the ultimate point for me. If I can get to break even and then start playing with house money and then just redepositing sections of that, that'll be solid. I'd love to get this up to where I'm making, you know, 1500 or two grand a month. That would be fantastic. If you want to join the team, basically you picked an ideal time because we're already up to the maximum two percent you want to use my referral link down below to get in make your deposit and then you're getting, you're getting two percent on whenever you deposit it there's ten percent off the top for the initial tax i don't think there's any tax at all when you claim so my initial deposit of course was a thousand bucks and it gave me 900 and then that's staked for 60 days and uh, every seven days you can claim your profit and then redeposit it, whatever you wanna do. Right now the teams have been really, really good about redepositing some of the profits that's just keeping the TVL climbing on this one. So not financial advice, but for me, this one is crushing it. And I know everyone who got in with me originally, when we got in, I think we were just getting 1% or whatever. And then as we got a certain number of team members and got our total staked amount up, we worked our way up to 2%. So everyone joining now gets the benefit of joining a team that's already maxed out as far as percentage. And you guys are always welcome to jump into Telegram, ask questions, all that. We let pretty much anything slide. We don't talk too much about projects that I'm not in because I haven't had a chance to vet it, but it's a really good group and it's one of the ones where you don't have to be afraid to ask questions. I don't think I've had a chance to make a video since Purple Beans version two died. Purple Beans, uh, Purple Beans version two died probably like a week ago, maybe a little bit longer, maybe 10 days, but it just ran out of contract balance. Now there is a possibility because um, they're going to start selling their tokens. I think it adds some liquidity back in there. I really don't know for sure. I think I might have barely broken even on that one. So it wasn't uh, wasn't a big money maker, but also wasn't a major loss. So no rug pull or anything like that. <clears throat> you win some, you lose some. But I know he's going to launch the token and continue with his ecosystem. So I'll give an update on that as soon as I have a little bit more information. Next up, let's talk about Whales Candy real quick because Whales Candy has been pumping. I've noticed they've started to get a lot of traction from some bigger names, even guys like Ray and Stunner are in there, and they obviously have a lot of reach. So the more reach you have, the more people will likely pile in. So it's starting to get a lot of traction. Uh, let's go to the lobby. 696 overall BNB deposited, and it just started like a week ago. So looking really, really solid. Um, how it works, if you guys don't know how lobbies work, basically 2 million tokens are given out every day. Um, if not too many people bid on them, you get more tokens. If a bunch of people bid on them, then you get less tokens. So you'll see uh, this day, not too many people were in. Only 30 BNB, only 33 BNB went in. And for a half a BNB, I picked up 29,600 tokens. Now on days like this one, for the same half a BNB, since there was 241 total deposits on that first day, I ended up, only ended up with uh, 4,100 total tokens from that same half a BNB. So the idea is you just watch this uh, amount of deposits and if it's pretty low for the day you might want to enter and see if you can pick up some tokens for cheap once you've picked up the tokens there'll be a blue button here if you click on the blue button it'll pop up a message and say hey do you want to use anyone's referral code you can switch that every day so i used matt bills this morning because he said he used mine when when he signed up yesterday i used somebody's from the telegram because he said that he used mine when he signed up so you have the ability to copy and paste this little referral code that's over here uh, i think it's in the description down below so if you want to post that in there it gives me a little kickback if not that's fine too but that's what that box is you can just click past it if you want to and once you've claimed those tokens, it will automatically stake them. And I don't think I said this right on my initial video when I did it, where maybe you could win the tokens and then sell them. That's not the case. Basically, all tokens are getting staked. So if you uh, claim your stake uh, right here or from, from the auction lobby, it's automatically going to go into a stake. If you buy uh, buy the token, Whales Candy token, directly from the website, it's automatically going to go into a stake. So these are all my stakes. So I'm gonna let these build up and claim some, and then I may reinvest them because uh, I want larger blocks, right? I claimed the 635, it created a new stake for me, and that's really not that much. So I prefer to have much uh, fewer stakes and much larger stakes. Uh, let's look at the chart real quick. The tokenomics on this thing are pretty sweet. This, uh, this token, if it really ever got some mainstream traction, could be major. So let's 
cinch this down real quick. As you can see, we started out real low in the four cent section, we're up to seven cents. So my initial stakes from what I put in are worth like five X or something like that of what I actually put in. And part of that's because I got a really good deal on some tokens in the lobby. And part of it's just from this price appreciation. So if you're looking for a very interesting play that also benefits drip because 20% of uh, some of the fees go to buy back drip and send it to the tax vault, that is subject to change, but the dev said he's got no reason to change anytime soon. So I like projects, of course, that help drip. And this one in particular is starting to get a lot of traction. So not financial advice. If you want to get in, use my referral code. Don't use my referral code very simple the links down below there's no referral code to get into the project it just asks you if you want to allocate some rewards to someone when you're actually claiming so nothing on day one but when you actually go to claim it'll pop up a message and ask you you can just click ok and click past it if you want and the last one i'll cover today certainly not the least is arcfi now as you guys know arc incentivizes you to kind of claim as you go um, so i compounded for a while until i got above 1200 tokens which is about 7300 bucks uh, which is awesome and then i started a claim strategy it's been a little bit random so far because i've just been playing around with it but what i've decided to do is just work a five and two so five days a week i will compound 100 percent of it see where that gets me and then i'll do two claims i think that should keep me in a pretty good range where i'm taking profits and i'm getting a little bit of money back but i'm still growing my account which i think is ideal and i think it makes it more sustainable if you look at dollar amounts here um, yeah 73.65 max payouts 22,000. so super solid so here's what i'm doing i'm basically uh putting this on 100 compound and I'm coming down here to the auto allocation and I'm putting in a number of days that I want to auto, uh, auto allocate it. And I'm just going to compound it basically for five days automatically. And I'll get in here on those other two days and claim. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do them back to back days or whatever. Uh, it really doesn't matter overall. I still think that that's going to keep me in this nice range right here. For some reason, it claimed um, it claimed part of what I had like it didn't catch the allocation I went in here and I had 50 50 and I changed it and I don't know if it had enough time to like click because when I did my last auto allocation it looks like it took 50 50 anyway this uh, CWR is a little bit lower than I wanted it to be I'm trying to keep it closer to this 1.25 so it can just hang here in the middle um, it'll get bigger as I continue to compound and then I'll drop it down with my couple claims and get bigger and drop it down but my idea here is to just work my way towards ROI. I know I think once I ROI, this is going to drop down to 1% a day, which is still awesome. It doesn't affect my max payout. Of course, I still get that. It just takes me a little bit longer to get it, which of course is a little bit more sustainable for the protocol. So that's it. Arc is the silent assassin. It's just been crushing it. It is still probably my favorite UI because it gives me all the details I need. Um, I love the airdrop function. I love the auto compounder. It's got a lot of stuff that other dApps are missing. So for now, I think that's it. Let me know if you guys have questions about the marketing DAO or about any of these dApps, which ones are paying you out the most. Um, <clears throat> I'm just trying to play in a lot of stuff that, that are safe. Uh, I'm hoping that I find a couple of really big winners. I'm okay to lose some of the time because I know that it's kind of a numbers game. You gotta try a few different things out. Um, especially while the drip ecosystem is moving so slowly to produce the the price has just been struggling so the price isn't sitting at a point where i'm really making any money i'm just slowly getting my roi back uh, for my first strip faucet so the way it looks right now if prices stood right where they're at i'd basically break even on like my fifteen thousand dollar investment on that first wallet but i used uh, some of those funds, I guess maybe some of those tokens that I airdropped and then added new capital into a couple other wallets. And I started those wallets when Drip was much, much cheaper. So um, in terms of dollar amount, I've got a lot less in those. So those ones I should ROI nicely, even if the price just stays the same as it is right now. So we'll see. But again, I'll be really transparent about exactly what happened. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. If I made an investment and barely broke even, I'm going to tell you exactly how it is. Um, but then if I've got other wallets that can make me some profit, then, then that's good too but anyway before i go off on another tangent i'll close it out here i hope all you guys are having a wonderful day thank you for supporting me uh, please consider subscribing if you're not subscribed already but happy investing